Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a box of chocolates. I'm going to start on the right hand side and put a dot under two fingers and on the left hand side I'm going to put another dot underneath two fingers. I go back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line up, over, down, come back to the dot, curve line up, over, down, connect. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to do it again. Starting at the dot, I draw a curve line up, over, down, come back to the dot, draw me another curve line up, over, down, connect. I come right back up to the point again and I'm going to mimic that line. So I draw another curve line out, down, bring it all the way down and I'm going to put a little straight line connect on the left I'm going to do the same thing on the right curve line up over down put a little straight line connect I come back to the um, space on the left and I'm going to put a dot right there in that upper corner and from that dot I'm going to draw a spiral which is going around and around and stop. I come on the left hand side and I draw a slightly curved line down on the left. Right hand side, slightly curved line down, connect. Right underneath, I draw a curved line down, little curved line over, come back up, curved line down, connect. Come over on the left, curved line up, down, connect on the left, curved line up, down, connect on the right. I'm going to add some little triangles. Straight line up, straight line down, straight line up, down, straight line up, down. Now I come back to where my dot is and just a little bit further down I'm going to put another dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line all the way around everything I just drew and connect. Alright, now I come over to the right hand side and I'm going to fill this with shapes. So I'm going to draw a square, circle, rectangle, circle, square. Keep going. You can do as many shapes as that will fit comfortably. Make sure you have a bunch of different kinds. Then, once I've drawn my shapes, I just draw a wavy line connect around each one of my shapes. This might take a while, but it looks really cool when you're done. Wavy lines all the way around, connect at the end, all the way, keep going, keep going, and one more. On the inside of each shape, I put a squiggle. It can be anything you want. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Okay? Now we're ready to color. Okay, I'm going to start on the left in this little sliver space. I'm going to color this yellow. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to color around the wavy line all the way. I'm going to color this all the way red. I'm going to come in and use my red on my rose. And then I'm going to use dark green for my stem and my leaves. Light green for my thorns. If you have a light green, if you don't, it's okay. And then on the inside, I'm going to do pink. Now you can make your colors different. These are only a suggestion. Now I come on the right hand side and I'm going to color my outside space, my edge, yellow. And now 
I'm going to color each one of my shapes a light brown. These are my chocolates. So I color all of these a light brown. Or a dark brown if you have colors. Then I come back in and around the chocolates, I'm going to make this all pink. And then, as my final, I'm going to take a yellow-orange and color around the wavy lines. These are supposed to be paper wrappers. You can have a different color. That would be fine. Do all of them just to finish off your look. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my box of chocolates all colored in. It might be fun to cut them out and put one on one side of a card and maybe one on the inside. You never know what you're going to get from a box of chocolates. Okay, bye-bye.